And we're back with three games in three minutes. Joining me today is Shane Bettenhausen, executive editor for the One Up Network. Thank you for joining me. Always a pleasure. So let's start with the bad one today. Ooh, all right. You're starting off bad. I'm starting bad. What is it? It's called Opuna. You won't forget that title. No. It's Opuna. for the Wii, and it's a Japanese role-playing game, which people want on Wii. People wish they had like a, a real Final Fantasy or something, but this one, it's so kitty. When you see the graphics, it looks like you're like a Playmobil character. Everything's like bulbous, blobby little guys walking around. You play the whole game with just the nunchuck. That's how simple it is. Like, it's meant to be like a really simple RPG, but then it's really, really hard. So the kids who might like it will, will be so like stifled by the difficulty, they won't be able to play it for more than an hour. I mean, you have to like grind and level up forever, and it, but yet it looks like it's for babies. So it's just a really weird mix that isn't going to please anybody. But what makes it such a grind? Just like you know, random encounters and random battles, very traditional like a Dragon Warrior game. And you have to level up, like, you know, in the, in the first area, you have to walk around for like half an hour leveling up before you can go to the next area, or you'll die. So it's a hardcore, old-school RPG aimed at, like, three-year-olds. It's, I, I think we'll just move on. <laughs> so, Shane, what's our try? The try is a game called Dark Sector. It's published by D3. Uh, it's for both Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. And it was actually the first next-gen game ever announced. It was first shown, like, three or four years ago at E3. And uh, it's finally come out, and it's made by guys who used to make Unreal. So it actually looks a lot like Gears of War. And it plays a lot like Gears of War. So much, in fact, that it's basically just a, God, a Gears of War clone. Except you have a, a blade like the guy in Krull, and you throw this at people, and it comes back like a boomerang. So there's you a little, just made a Krull reference. It's to, well, you, this game is totally Krull. I mean, it's like a post-apocalyptic wow. Krull Gears of War, and it's pretty good, but it is really derivative. I mean, you feel like you've seen it before, you've played it before, but if you're in the mood for another Gears of War style game, it's, it's all right. You know? what, what made it take so long to come out? Uh, the engine wasn't done, I guess, and you know, just they, these things take time. But it does look very polished, and it's kind of yeah, Gears of War meets Krull meets Resident Evil Four. But don't expect anything innovative. Okay, Despite now what, what is the buy this week? The buy is a clear winner. It's Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII, which is for the PSP. And uh, there have been a lot of Final Fantasy VII spinoffs in the last three years, most of them bad. But this one is finally good. It's really good, in fact. It, it tells the backstory of this character, Zack, who is a minor character in Final Fantasy VII. So it fleshes out you know, all, the, all the same characters and environments you remember from that game. And that's everybody's favorite Final Fantasy. And it does a really good job of it. And uh, th you know, they, they made a game that's perfect for PSP. You can play it for like three minutes at a time. There's, all these, there's hundreds of missions that you can choose and do whenever you want. They're really bite-sized. They're fun. But there is a main story you can do as well. But yeah, it's just really well, well made for PSP. How are they able to, to continue the franchise of Final Fantasy? Because there's just so much... But, I mean, how do they, they, they keep it new and fun, the, the, the combat engine and all that stuff? How, how are they able to well, really Well, this move time, they got the same guy who wrote the original Final Fantasy VII to return, so they made the story like, really mesh, and that's cool. And then the gameplay, they really thought about what's, what's fun on a PSP, and it's actually more of an action game. You're actually dodging and, and jumping and running, and you know, it has some of the same stuff from the old RPG series, but it's, it's a real like, melding of, of two different genres that really works, and it works well on the PSP. They really thought about what you can play on a bus. And like, it's, a, it's an RPG you want to play for like five minutes on the bus. Thanks, Shane. Appreciate it. That's our three games in three minutes for this week. Check them out. Let us know what you think.